Matt, anytime. Hey guys, Sports Adrenaline Las Vegas here. Uh, we're out at the Clark County building. Just got done with the Stadium Authority Board meeting. This was this was the big one. This is the one where we, we got all the documents signed. Everything's official now. I mean, this is this is happening. All the conspiracy theories, all the it's not going to happen. Vegas is leverage. All the stuff that we've been hearing for the last two years is finally over with. Everything is signed. They're coming here. Uh, kind of a surreal moment uh, for me in particular. Lifelong Raiders fan, born and raised in Las Vegas. I sat down two years ago, it was, it was February of 2016. I sat down for lunch with a friend of mine who uh, works for the Raiders organization. He was here in town, went and had lunch, and he said, listen, I'm gonna tell you something, this is off the record, don't talk about it yet, but it's happening, the Raiders are coming to Las Vegas. And this was still, you know, right right on the heels of all the stuff that was going on with, with the Chargers and the Raiders trying to get a deal done in, in LA, or just outside of LA, uh, in Carson, if I remember correctly. and. Vegas was a pipe dream. I mean, that, that you know, that really wasn't going to happen. And I kind of, come on, are you serious about this? Is it really going to happen? And he goes, man, it's happening. You know, I, I've talked to Mark and I've talked to Bedane and, and they're serious about it. They want to move to Vegas. This is going to happen. And sure enough, in the next few weeks, you start hearing the rumors, things start rolling. Here we are two years later, standing in Vegas, outside the Clark County building, and everything is official. Um, it's exciting. This is going to be great for the uh, community. This is going to be great for, for Raiders fans, even though there's there's a huge portion of the fan base, obviously in the Bay Area, that's extremely salty about this. And, and more than anything, kind of heartbroken. I mean, you're, you're taking a team away from a community that uh, kind of identifies themselves as Raiders. I mean, that that's what they are. The, this These people have grown up with this team and, and, and had this, this blue-collar, gritty kind of kind of lifestyle that they can identify with that, that this team portrays on the football field and it, they're kind of being ripped away from them not for a first time now for a second time after the move to LA back in 83 um, I asked Dane about that and uh, we'll have video on that on the show tomorrow night but uh, I asked him about you know what can you say to the fans and, and you have a fan base that's that's super happy then you have another faction that's really upset and he just reiterated how important this is for the team and, and how great this is going to be for not only Raider Nation but for the team itself to finally have their own facility to have a, a football only home that that they can they can call their own they've never had that they they played in a couple rundown fields in the <laughs> Bay Area before they've got the the Coliseum in Oakland in 66 which they shared with the A's and, and before they moved back to to Oakland it was very much just a baseball looking facility the entire outfield was open it didn't look like a football team should be playing there and even moving to the Coliseum in LA it was built for the Olympics it, it, it had a track around it back when they played there I mean it was not and still isn't a great football facility for USC it's great it holds 100,000 people and, and you know that's great for college football but for an NFL team that needs the amenities it needs the luxury boxes that needs those suites that needs that extra revenue that's just not going to get it done. And now they can finally come here and, and call this place their own. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring in Scott Winter here from Las Vegas Raiders Report. Scott's been on it since day one. Uh, Scott has been all over it. Um, he's on a first-name basis with everybody. He even takes a few insults from some of the top guys that we found out today uh, just for fun. Um, but, Scott, go over a couple of the, you know, a little bit of the more technical issues that, that were ironed out today. Not even ironed out, just kind of signed off because the meeting went a lot quicker than any of us expected even though chairman hill came in at the beginning and said we're going to fly through these these 35 items uh go over some of the more technical things that that were discussed well you know they changed uh, to the to the raiders holding company you know that was a that was a last minute addition uh, another thing was the land transfer there was a little pick up there they've got 10 days that that's in the in the in the documents uh another thing would be the funding you know they're getting getting the pay go started uh, and then moving it towards the bond. I mean, there isn't really a whole lot that they that they had to do, but those are things that stuck out in my mind that they had to amend today. Now, everything's signed, right? Yep. It's official. We're, we're moving forward this. What are you most excited about in the next, I mean, obviously getting done and, and opening day and, and the stadium, but in the next few months here, the next few phases and the next steps in the, in the process, what are you most excited about? Oh man, okay, so I, I just got back from the NFL owners meeting. They had a presentation, a video board of their presentation we're gonna try to get a hold of. And it showed, uh, f you know, the, the, the timeline and then they went into uh, virtual reality to show how it's being built and when things, that's gonna be exciting. When you start seeing steel go up and you're driving by on the 15, 
that's gonna that that's gonna bring it make it real for the residents. They're gonna say, whoa, there's not just dirt being pushed around and dug up and stuff like that. Steel's going up, and actually, the stadium is going to look complete by about October, November of 2019, because everything, all the facades, the roof will be on. They'll still be doing work in there. I'm telling you though, they're gonna be. That's I'm excited to see. You know that man. It's going to go along with like when you see the, the Ferris wheel or you see the stratosphere or, or the pyramid, it's going to be another iconic building in Las Vegas. That excites me. When I was a kid, I did I did construction work out here. You know, it's a laborer going out, carrying pipe up steps, building the new Caesars Tower, worked on Mandalay Bay. And one of the fun things that, that you always saw out there was, you know, you got your hard hat and you put your name on it or your nickname because everybody seems to have a nickname in construction. Um, I always drew a Raider logo on my hard hat because obviously lifelong Raider fan. When are we going to put on hard hats and get out there and, and get to get to tour the stadium a little bit and just, you know, get the, get the inner workings before anybody else gets to see it? I think we're going to get a lot of that going, you know, going through it. Uh, we, I, I, I know a guy. I think Scott knows a guy. I think you know a guy. I think I know him too. You yeah. know, yeah. I think I think we'll uh, we'll see about getting that done. I, I believe that you know, we're going to be able to provide, other than, now granted, the Raiders got us beat. They got the camera, the time-lapse camera on top of the, 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 the Delano, but we're going to be able to go out there ground ground zero and cover that as it's being built in phase. It's going to be great. We want to see the guts, right? Oh, we yes. Want to get, so we want to oh, see the yeah. guts of this project. So, uh, exciting day, guys. This is this is what we've all been waiting for. This is what this, this committee has been building towards for the last two years. Chairman Hill couldn't express enough uh, his gratitude to everybody, to all the man hours that have been put into this project. Uh, Jeremy Aguero especially, I mean, he, he worked his tail off to get this done. And I just found out today he's a fourth generation native. I'm third generation native. My kids are fourth generation native. So a lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears are put into this thing by people who, who are, are entrenched in this city, in this community. And uh, just a big day. We're excited. We'll get into it a lot more tomorrow night on Sports Adrenaline Las Vegas. We'll be coming to you live at 7 o'clock. Um, Tony will be there. Rick will be there. John will be there. And uh, we'll really get into the meat of this thing. But uh, big day, March 28, 2018. It's official, guys. The Raiders are coming to Las Vegas. Talk to you soon.